this garden and the food it produces is bringing people together. Cultivate Toronto is an urban community shared agriculture program which is connecting local community members with the food that they eat. The setup and maintenance of the gardens are done for free. Rather than paying rent to the homeowner for the land, the homeowner receives a portion of the vegetables that are grown. This is your second season with the program, so how has it worked for you and your family? We have a, a young baby and, and we're very much into feeding her organic vegetables and okay. it's cheaper than going to the market. It will just allow people who do not have the time to grow vegetables or the skills to grow vegetables to still partake. Like they need to be watered. It's shared. Rather than free, everyone has to contribute somehow, so we're okay. contributing our space. It's looking great. Yeah, we've got our team of volunteers in here today just taking out the grass, and then we'll be double digging to prepare the beds. For the program is entirely volunteer run and wouldn't exist without the people who are passionate about food and how it's grown. A lot of people have lost that connection to food. It's a great concept because it's also really affordable food for people who can't really afford organic, so it increases accessibility. Community shared agriculture is not a new concept, but why did you want to reintroduce it two years ago in the city? We're just trying to reconnect people with their food, show kids where their food is coming from, and cultivate the land that's unused in Toronto. Oh, good job. Thank you, Mina. Thank you very much. Okay, start young, because that organic food <laughs> is so right. delicious. Start them young. Okay, so, you know, how do they share it? So once they cultivate it, right. when it's ready to go, yeah. they all meet in one of the backyards that they work in and they share amongst each other. It's brilliant it and it's free. Brilliant. It's a donation from not only the donate the land, the homeowner, but they'll yeah. also give um, the co-founders a donation. And Wonderful. it's a young organization and it's doing so well. The residential gardens they convert are currently located in three specific neighborhoods in East York and Central Toronto. They're hoping to expand to priority neighborhoods next year, starting with Regent Park. In addition, Cultivate Toronto has an extensive education and outreach program, including an internship program. If you would like to participate or you'd like to volunteer, you can always visit globaltoronto.com and click Click on making a difference in the two-year period since their existence. They've yeah. had about 15 landowners and they've been doing this and this year seven more have signed up.